Yeah. You in the zone. How did you feel when you first heard what, what Beanie had to say about your relationship? I mean, you know, this this rap music and uh competitive by nature, nothing really surprises me anymore. You know, um but I honestly say that was one that was like that was like a shocker because uh, you know, we when you cut when you're from a certain place, you cut from a certain cloth and certain things are just off limits, you know, and uh when you cross that line it, then it has it put you in a different box. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that that one was uh a little surprising, but the uh the, the competitive nature of rap music dictates that that's how it goes more times than not. Yeah. Right? So when it's not expected, it's worse than when you you feel like you know when somebody's throwing subliminals at you. I, I think it came from the same thing. I think it was the same exact thing. I think it came from uh I think everybody run out of ideas. It's just all marketing at this point. I don't even think it's competition anymore. Mm -hmm. I you know, in the beginning, it was competition. It was just like, uh, let's see who's better. Let's go to the square and see who's better. But I don't think it's that. I think it's all just marketing now. Everybody just ran out of ideas. That's just the thing. Mm. Jigger man. <laughs> you guys have been, yeah, you've like been doing it. Marketing plan. Jigger you've been, man. You've been doing it for a long time. Jeezy, you got five years in. Yeah. Almost six, but a couple of critically acclaimed albums. Trey, yeah. this is your, what, third album? Yeah. This is your third album. Jeezy, this question's for Jeezy and Jay. Who do y'all look to right now, young boys coming up and say, you know what? He all right. If he keeps on that same path, he could really yeah, I, be I, something. I, I definitely think like Drake, you know what I mean, right now. Mm -hmm. He just got out of the studio doing something, but, you know, he, he on his grind. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, couldn't, I couldn't lie about that. He came, for the, he came for the mixtape circle like I did, too, so I kind of respect it. You know what I mean? Jay? Same thing, Drake, Lupe. Um, you know, uh, I heard a new J Electronica record that's incredible. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, those guys. Those guys, those two. It's too early to keep, you know, I'm <laughs> thinking. Trey, who you look to say, you know what? They keep their grind going, they stay on the same path, and really be something. Me? <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> What's your ultimate goal, Trey? My ultimate goal is, uh, you know, uh, right now I'm just just capturing people's attention with my music. You know, uh, now that I have more people watching, is what I do with it. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, I look to uh, eventually touch people with my music. You know, like uh, circumstances like in, in Haiti, which I, I send my my prayers out to the people out there. Like mm -hmm. I, I look to to. Do do things that are outside of music, because once you get get, get people with your music, it's what you could do with your celebrity. It's what you could do as a person. You know what I mean? Like Jay does a lot of that. Yeah, a brand. Yeah, it's and and most definitely touching people and just making music that people love. Yeah, Trey songs in the building, March second at the Garden. Get the tickets on sale Friday, January fifteenth at ten a.m. Jay Z, Young Jeezy. Trade songs, Jay Z albums in store now. Trade songs, albums.